Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. They are advertised as computer speakers, but will work with any Bluetooth device. So this one is in white, it's also available in black. So just taking a look around the outside of the box and at the back of the box, some product features and details. And specifications on this side of the box. So this pair of Bluetooth speakers has a peak power of 10 watts. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by, of course, Cutting apart the clear sticky seal, that's keeping the box tab closed. So right there, and popping out the seal. Right there, flipping up the box flap and taking a look from the top down inside the box. And let's begin to unbox the contents from this Z207 Bluetooth speaker packaging. So you can see the two speakers in white. Let's pop the middle partition out or perhaps just try our best to slide everything out very carefully so you can see set of papers on the right hand side and let me see if I can do this with of course a fairly large tripod and camcorder in the way so I might struggle a little just bear with me as always and just tipping the contents out and of course always ensuring nothing else is left behind inside the box packaging and just to give you that top box flap there with some diagrams on how to set up the speakers okay and just resealing the box and setting it let's set it on the right hand side of the frame right there and then okay let's go ahead and arrange the rest of the contents so you can see the pair of speakers in white. As I mentioned earlier, they're also available in black. Okay, so middle box section has a few items contained within it. Let's see if we can remove it carefully. So there is a flap on either ends. There we go, so we do have the power adapter as well as a cable in there and making sure nothing else is left behind and setting the box packaging insert to the side. So that is the entire contents of this Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speaker arranged across the tabletop right here and perhaps the right way around. So contents neatly laid out right there in the frame, making sure everything is in nice clear view for the viewers of this video. So right there, the Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers in white. And now let's start off by first taking a look at this set of papers here. So there is a fold-out leaflet 
And as usual, this should span several languages on the important safety, compliance, and warranty information for this pair of Logitech Z207 speakers. So they do have a two-year warranty on them. And just quickly expanding or folding out the leaflet just to show you the different panels of this leaflet of the information covered in several languages. So there is a front as well as a reverse side to it. So just going to give you a close up look at the English panel. Okay, so we can move on by, of course, folding it back up if you can very quickly and moving on to the other parts of this unboxing. Okay, so struggling a little here. Not going to spend too much time doing this. Just going to set it to the side right there. And moving on, if we could do so. Somewhere right there. Just soft frame and okay. And moving on to the next item. So it does come where with a power adapter here so this being a uk model has a three pin plug adapter with a dc plug let's open it up and we can just simply peel back the sticky tape there and tipping out the adapter right here. Okay, so now giving you that close-up look to the specifications of the power adapter for this Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. And you can see the cable length is reasonably long, even though it is currently bundled up with the wire so let's undo that and then give you a good idea of the length of the cable so setting that to the side and then showing you the cable length so unfurling the cable here always slightly tricky to do but there we go, cable length of the Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. I'm going to set this pair of 3.5mm cables to the back for now so it doesn't get too distracting against the foreground as I try to show you the length of the cable of the power adapter. So right there, nice and long as you can see. Okay, and then moving on to the cable. So this is a pair of 3.5 millimeter audio cable. It's a double ended cable. So it's a single cable with two 3.5 millimeter ends for direct audio connection. So should you not want to connect or pair the speaker via Bluetooth, you can always just connect it directly should your music playback device or music player has a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack such as this for the plug to go in and the other end will go or plug straight into the speakers themselves. So very, very simple option there. And it will also save the power on your playback device as well. So. Nice good length as well as you can see, no need to really show you um, the cable length. So just going to set it to the side since most of you guys should be connecting wirelessly anyway. Given that this is the Bluetooth version, there is a non-Bluetooth version of these speakers as well, the Z200. Okay, so over here, the midsection here, just going to undo this cable tie actually before I do that. 
Yes, I will do undo the cable tie before I unpack or unwrap the speakers. So just going to cut apart the sticky tape that's keeping the cables wrapped up. Right there. And setting the plastic packaging aside. And once again, you can see there is a wire here keeping the cables tidy. Okay, setting that to the side as well. And then now we can undo or remove the plastic bag that's keeping the cables wrapped or the speakers wrapped. So I'm doing that. And then there we go. And it's nice to see that the plastic or clear plastic packaging is recyclable so always make sure you make the effort to recycle them and of course keeping them away from babies and toddlers and on this side same thing just going to cut open the sticky tape that's keeping the clear plastic bag taped against or around the speaker so there we go nice clear look now of the Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So everything is neatly laid out here. And of course, trying to slide a bit of the compliance and warranty information papers into the frame right there. So, okay, so full view now of the entire contents from this Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So just trying to get the cables to stay put. Okay, so making sure we have a nice clear view. So there we go. Hopefully you can see pretty much clearly what we've just removed from the box packaging of this Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers in white, which is also available in black as well. So having a bit of a session here, trying to keep the DC plug in nice clear view so you can see the end of that plug there in the right orientation. Okay, so I think that's as best as I can do. Otherwise, this video will run for an extremely long time just of me just fussing around with that DC plug there, so nice. Okay, so there we go. Nice clear view of this pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. Of course, we're gonna take a close-up look as well, so I'm just going to shift it around a bit so you have some idea of the design of these speakers. So they are 24.1 centimeters tall or 241 millimeters tall depending on which unit of measure you're more comfortable with. Okay, so now let's take a look, close up look at the speakers. So this is, let's make sure we've got the right side on in our hands. So over here, you can see the L denoting the left side speaker. So initial impressions is it looks pretty interesting uh, with its kind of matte finish. It is made out of plastic, almost toy-like, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. So very unusual seeing a matte kind of finish. Quite used to seeing glossy finishes on speakers, especially if they're going for that premium look. So this has a muted flat white finish against that dark gray, near black speakers or twin speakers set inside the housing. I'm just going to show you, and for some reference, resting the speaker in the palm of my hand, this time around the left-hand side there in my left hand, giving you some idea of the scale. And this time around, putting my, resting my right hand over it as well. So hopefully giving you some idea of the size of the speaker here. Okay, so we're handling the left-hand side speaker. 
and taking a look around, as I mentioned, it is just over 24 centimeters in height. So you can see right there, it does have an integrated stand as well. So very simple. Domino type of color with the black or near black against the overall white primary color of this speaker. So giving you a good close up look all around. So you can hear it is pretty, pretty sturdy. You can knock it about without doing too much damage to the speaker. And even the stand is made out of plastic and it does have a grippy anti-slip silicone strip right there. So always good to have it there to minimize any slippage or vibrations transferring onto your desk or tabletop surface. So nice good look hopefully you can see all the detail you can see another strip towards the front or main part of the speaker and then the two speakers set within the housing of the speaker body so left speaker here in my left hand and let's hold them both together so you can see because the other side contains the controls so there's a volume knob as well as a bluetooth pairing button so i'm going to give you that close-up look now you can see the speakers left in my left hand and right side in my right hand so the logi logo or logitech branding on the left speaker and on the right speaker the volume knob as well as the headphone out 3.5 millimeter audio jack and the Bluetooth button as well. So right there, giving you a good side-by-side -side look at this pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So giving you some various looks while I try and keep one still and move the right side around, giving you some reference to the speaker shape, design and overall dimensions. While working out on my core body strength, keeping as still as possible to maintain the auto focus on this camcorder. So Lots of uh, core strength training every time I do these videos, especially with these large products where core strength and balance is key to providing a high quality and high clarity video image for the viewers of this video or any of the videos on this channel. So looking at the back part of this of this right side speaker you can see the right or R lettering on the right side indicating the right of course and the sockets and plugs behind so you can see the aux jack there should you wish to connect directly with the 3.5 millimeter double-ended cable which is provided which I've shown earlier and of course the DC power plug in to power the speakers and this cable is fixed which lines into the left side speaker it's right there nice clear view for all your reference needs as well and once again same construction of course with this very tough abs plastic no metal at all, even the stand, as I mentioned earlier, is made from plastic. So very toy-like in design. I'm sure they're built 
to last. So once again, giving you a look at both these speakers in my hand. So giving you that sense of size and perspective scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and of course plug the power plug in. So DC plug right here that goes behind and into the DC socket of the right side speaker. So as you can see, as we've just seen earlier, let's plug that in. Set the speaker down. And then of course, plugging the power adapter into a socket and I'm just about to flip the switch on just making sure that the power and volume knob is set all the way down actually I should give you a press test and turn test of this knob it's right there clicking away the power is still off I haven't flipped the power switch yet on the socket where the adapter is plugged in and you have a very soft press Bluetooth pairing button right there. So nice close-up details this time around. With this right speaker on its own. So there is an LED indicator light as well. It's right there, volume knob turns very nicely. And smoothly with that very nice click positive click action there so now setting the speaker back down left and right let's flip the power switch on now and then turn that knob up and making sure that we are actually getting power. Okay, I flipped the wrong switch. Let's try the other switch, the correct switch on the adapter plug. And then now we can turn this power and volume knob on and you can see that green light coming on there. So being careful not to raise the volume unnecessarily high with nothing connected. So there we go. On and off that green glow from that indicator light of this Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speaker. So what we can do now is of course try and pair it. So let's turn the speaker on, keep the volume low for now, and press on that Bluetooth button. Maybe press and hold, and there we go. So you can see it is now flashing two colors green and blue instead of that solid green and over here i do have a sony xperia xz3 android smartphone which i've unboxed on the channel before and it's sat and protected in a case collection brushed carbon fiber effect slim tpu case which i've also unboxed on the channel before so let's go ahead and go into the phone and go into the Bluetooth settings and pair the Logitech Z207 speaker showing right there with this Sony Xperia XZ3 smartphone. It's now pairing and you can see the prompt there. It says pair with Logi Z207. Let's go ahead and pair it. And right there, it is now paired and you can see the light on the speaker or just above the speaker volume knob is now a solid pale blue instead of the flashing pale blue and green that we saw earlier as it was trying to pair. Okay, so now let's switch over to the YouTube music video app. So playing some trending music, let's hit on this music video. 
and raise the volume up. Now I have to be careful not to play the music video for too long, otherwise the music might get muted or the entire audio track might get muted from this video. So there, giving you the experience of this pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So right there, maximum volume on the control knob. momentarily we hit the maximum volume just being very careful here being this, that the speakers are new you don't want to blow them out so giving you that quick experience so it does have a very nice tone and clarity to the speakers and the volume control knob it does have that very very smooth action right there and let's turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, so you can see that the Bluetooth playback did stop. As you can see that the music video has stopped on the app. Let's resume it by pressing on that play button. And there we go. The music is now continuing to stream and play on this pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. I'm gonna bring it up close. So nice and clear. Audio playback on this pair of Logitech Z207 speakers with nice tone and frequency range as well. Well balanced for a pair of affordable Bluetooth speakers. And let's raise the volume back up again. I'm being careful not to overdo it. And just like that. We've successfully paired and played some trending music on this pair of Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. So that's Logitech Z207 Bluetooth speakers. Thanks for watching and happy listening.